Hi everybody, I uh, hope you're well. Um, we're in a 2001 Toyota here. Um, we've got the engine warning light showing. Um, previously we weren't able to start the vehicle. Um, well, we were able to start it, um, but then what was happening is the RPM was sort of going up to about two to 3,000. And then it was dropping down and sort of cutting out straight away, uh, no, matter, no matter how much gas we put on. Um, we've uh, we hooked it up to the AL419 diagnostic kit, which is shown here, and we got the fault code P1310. Um, we got the, um, this is the one we're looking at here, the uh, fault with the ignition, uh, so igniter circuit malfunction number three, so that's the uh, cylinder three ignition coil. Uh, we changed that over, put a new one in the vehicle, just started it up there, and it's fired up straight away, and uh, RPM is nice and settled there. Um, so this is the kit that we used to diagnose the fault. What we're going to do now is go in and actually erase the engine warning light um, with this kit. We've already erased the fault. Um, sorry, you've already well, we have erased the fault by putting the new coil in, but we need to tell the ECU now that we're we've put a new part in just by simply erasing the codes. And what that'll then do is it'll reset the system, and it should reset the engine warning light, providing we have uh, fixed the fault accordingly. But the vehicle's starting, so. Uh, we believe we have. So we'll go and erase codes, erase trouble codes, are you sure? Keep one eye on the engine warning light when I do this. There we go. Engine warning light has gone straight off there. Pretty easy. Um, to swap over the ignition coil, it just takes five minutes. Very easy to do. Um, and this is the Autel, as I say, Autel AL419 that we are uh, diagnosing this fault with. Um, it's available as I say just by clicking the link directly below this video. Thanks very much for watching.